Hey y'all, it's Justin. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my wash day routine. So we of course are starting on dirty hair. I can't even get my hands through it. Lord Jesus, help us. Oh, look at that scalp. Mm, that's okay, we are gonna fix it. Oh, yeah. Ignore these twists on my hair. I get bored and I just start. You, y'all know, y'all know. We just start playing in our hair, and it just, it just is what it is, what it is, what it ain't. So, wash day. Yes, start in the shower. Get yourself a good rinse. We're just gonna get up in that water. We're just gonna rinse, 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 rinse. Then we're gonna grab us a good shampoo. Me for my scalp scalp only so some blue medicated now this is only for the scalp that's about how much i grab again make sure you lather that up get that good lather good lather in your hand mm, yes good lather and then you're gonna hit that scalp and we're gonna hit that scalp we're gonna make sure we get all that dandruff debris product build up all that extraness of out that hair so I'm just scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. And now I'm rinsing, rinsing. We're gonna get all of that out. And it is going down my hair shaft, that's fine. We're just gonna make sure that we didn't do all that extra scrubbing on our hair shaft with Sosa Blue. I have another shampoo for that coming right up. After the rinse, mm-hmm. Okay, just, we just gonna rinse, yeah, mm-hmm. Get it all out. Yes, curls, Ozzy Miracle Curls, shampoo. A good lather, mm -hmm. yes, we're gonna get us a good lather. And this is for the length of my hair. And excuse me, I don't know why I decided to do a voiceover while I was sick, but I mean, it is what it is, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this done. And yes, I'm sick, so just bear with me in this voiceover. And we're just gonna have fun, we're just gonna make the best out of it. Time for another rinse, of course. A beautiful, nice rinse. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and rinse that hair. See, we split the hair, we break it up. Make sure we get all that extra shampoo out of our hair. Mm -hmm. You go ahead, you did that. Might be time for a trim, y'all. Oh, maybe, maybe next video. Hmm? Hmm? Comment below. Is that what you want to see next? Okay, now it's time for Ozzy Miracle Moist Conditioner. Or am I gonna do a deep conditioner? Maybe three minute miracle. Hmm. Or Shea Moisture's Intense Hydration Hair Mask. Not today. Today we 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 gonna do the three minute today. Three minute miracle mask today, Ozzy Moist. You know, three minutes, that's all you need. Follow the directions. We're gonna grab a healthy amount, and this is mainly for the ends. A little bit of the hair shaft, but mainly for the ends. You don't need this on your scalp. It's just gonna clog your pores. Trust me, only put this on your hair, not on your scalp. Again, only for your hair, not for your scalp. So I'm gonna let this sit for about the three minutes that it says to do, and then we're gonna rinse this out. But first, as you see, I'm going to massage that deep, deep, deep into my hair, make sure I get that really, really good into my hair so that that penetrates deep into my hair shaft. Now here, what you see me doing is using that to detangle. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Go ahead and rake that through that section. Break it up and just keep raking that through with my fingers. And we're just gonna finger detangle that hair as we go through. Yeah, we're just gonna keep raking that through with our hands, using our fingers like they're combs. You'll feel every tangle as it slides through, which it should be gliding through with this, this conditioner. It's pretty nice. 
It's got a lot of slip. Shade about that much in that section. I'm gonna grab my comb and we're gonna do a deep detangle this time. I don't do it every time, but today we're just gonna do a deep detangle. The reason I didn't start with the comb is sometimes it can be a little harsh. And then we're gonna twist that up and put that away, move on to the next section and repeat. Again, we're just gonna rake the product through our hair. Split it up if you need to, take smaller sections if you need to, and just finger detangle. Add more product as necessary. So as you see here, I'm thoroughly detangling my hair with my fingers. Just using my fingers as they would be like a white tooth comb. Now I'm using my wide tooth comb. Make sure you're not trying to snatch your hair out from the other sections. That's how much hair came out in that section, which is normal. That's normal setting for me. And now I'm gonna twist that section up and put that up to the side. So now I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the first side of my head, now on the second side of my head. Same amount of product, rake it through, break it up as necessary. You are going to take your time. You don't need to be rushing through this process. You don't need to be ripping your hair out. This does not hurt. It is not hurting my hair. Pretty easy breezy. As you see, since I finger detangled the comb pretty much glides through my hair. No problem. I'm gonna twist that section up again and put it to the side. So here you just see me finger detangling my hair as I rake some more conditioner through it. We are just gonna keep detangling. Detangle for your life, honey. Get that wide tooth comb, comb out those curls. And then you're done. You can enjoy the rest of your shower. Well, once you twist this section up, of course. That's how much I lost in that section. That's everything. We're gonna discard that. Take our sections down. Now, after I rinse everything out, this is my leave-in that I leave in in the shower. This is the TGIN Miracle Repair Leave-In. Everything will be linked in the description bar down below. 
as you see in the shower it just melts in my hair which is why I love putting in my leave-in in the shower so two twists to the back two flat twists to the back is my pretty much a go-to style from my wash day um, I pretty much let my hair dry in this style and then I'll either let it be or I'll take it out and style it whichever way I want to which will be either a wash and go on dry hair or two strand twist just taking a piece of hair each and just twisting it to the back once you get to the end it's just a regular two strand twist On the other side, again, adding in the leave-in. That's the prayer hands method. We're just gonna keep praying it in. Now I'm gonna take two pieces of hair and just keep twisting. Add a little piece of my hair to each strand as I'm going back. That's how you create the flat twist. And then you're just going to keep twisting back. Once you get down to the end of your hair, you're just going to normal two strand twist to the end. Okay y'all, there y'all have it. There's my go-to wash day routine. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see next. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.